Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mastering Retaining Walls and Shoring Systems using Plaxis 2D. This is tutorial number 21 and in this uh, tutorial we are going to design and uh, simulate a steel sheet pile retaining wall for temporary excavation uh, using GU5 uh, software and uh, Plaxis uh, 2D. So uh, the example will be like uh, this, as you can see, uh, we have uh, this uh, soil stratigraphy and uh, boundary conditions. We have uh, four uh, soil layers, as you can see, we have one meter fill and two meter soft clay, seven uh, uh, soil layer as a medium dense sand and uh, 15 meters as a dense uh, sandy soil. We will apply a surcharge uh, load as a 10 kN per square meter and uh, we will have a 5 meter excavation. The water table is located 4 meters below the ground level. So uh, first we will uh, design uh, or uh, find uh, this embedded uh, length or penetration uh, depth of the sheet pile. Uh, for equilibrium stability and after uh, that we will uh, analyze uh, or simulate this example in Plaxis uh, 2D to perform a deformation uh, analysis. So in uh, this uh, tutorial uh, you'll uh, learn how to find uh, the embedded uh, length of sheet pile using G5 uh, software and uh, also we will you will learn uh, how to do verification of uh, this uh, sheet pile cross section uh, using G5 and uh, we will also perform a stability analysis using G5 software and after uh, that we will uh, do the deformation analysis in Plaxis uh, 2D also we will uh, calculate the safety factor or perform stability analysis using Plaxis uh, 2D and we will uh, compare the results between uh, stability analysis uh, between GU5 uh, software and Plaxis uh, 2D. So as I uh, mentioned uh, just before, uh, we will uh, find uh, the embedded uh, length, uh, this uh, D, uh, which is uh, embedded or penetration uh, depth of the sheet pile, which is required to be penetrated into the ground. So in uh, GU5, uh, we have a sheeting design program. I will explain and now. Uh, this embedded or uh, required embedded uh, penetration depth of the sheet pile is calculated based on uh, ensuring overall stability against uh, the rotation and sliding uh, of the pile using equilibrium method so uh, the active pressure and uh, passive pressure water pressure and structural equilibrium under giving uh, loads is uh, considered so uh, as you can see uh, uh, in this uh, figure this is uh, one case of the sheet pile uh, penetrating into the sand and uh, after uh, equilibrium uh, analysis uh, in here the maximum moment also is uh, calculated and this figure is a variation of bending moment uh, along the sheet pile uh, length and uh, this uh, figure is variation of net uh, pressure diagram so i suggest you uh, to see uh, the brajam uh, principles of foundation engineering uh, provided by Raja M does uh, in uh, sheet pile uh, wall uh, chapter. Uh, so you can, I suggest you uh, study uh, these uh, chapters, which explains in detail about uh, uh, construction method of sheet pile and also calculation uh, the pressure uh, in a retaining wall and finding the maximum moment of uh, cantilever or sheet pile wall in uh, various uh, different soil types. So I suggest you uh, take a look at uh, this chapter from uh, this book. It will help you to understand uh, more. And uh, after uh, calculation, after calculating the maximum moment uh, 
acting on this sheet pile wall, uh, we can uh, find uh, the cross section of the sheet pile wall based on the maximum moment and the allowable uh, stress of the structure. For example, if uh, this is a steel sheet pile wall, the allowable uh, stress of the steel is known and given by a factory. Also, we, we will divide the maximum moment divided by a uh, allowable stress. So uh, the elastic section modulus of the sheet pile, uh, which is required per unit length, can be uh, calculated. And uh, uh, this uh, section modulus uh, you can find uh, generally in sheet uh, piling uh, catalogs, uh, which is provided by uh, the company and factories which uh, uh, provide uh, these uh, sheet piles. For example, uh, again, if you uh, take a look at uh, uh, here, uh, there's a table in here. We have uh, this uh, sheet pile wall designation, and we have uh, the height, the height, uh, thickness, and uh, width of sheet pile wall. Uh, also, we have a sectional uh, modulus of a uh, sheet pile wall per uh, meter length. And also we have the moment of inertia uh, of the sheet pile uh, per uh, meter. So, uh, as I uh, said before, we can uh, easily uh, uh, calculate the section modulus which is required to, uh, uh, to be stable against uh, this maximum uh, bending moment acting on the sheet pile wall. Also, you can uh, find uh, actually this uh, sheet pile there are many uh, different uh, sheet pile uh, cross sections uh, you can check uh, this site or any other uh, uh, sites on the internet depends on uh, the country regulation and standards for example uh, these are a sheet pile uh, the u shape sheet pile wall uh, you can see also in here we have uh, height, width and thickness of sheet pile wall, uh, the cross-sectional area, uh, the mass of the sheet pile wall uh, per uh, uh, meter of the pile or per uh, meter square, also the moment of inertia and section uh, modulus of the sheet pile wall per meter. So these uh, parameters are important and uh, we can easily find in any uh, catalog of uh, sheet pile wall uh, provided by a factory. Also, there are uh, many other uh, types of uh, sheet pile walls, so you can uh, check in the internet or in any uh, country's regulation uh, or factories which provide uh, this type of uh, sheet pile. Okay, so it is uh, ready now. We can uh, start calculation. Uh, so I will uh, start calculation, ignore feedback and calculate. So I will pause uh, the video and uh, come back when it is uh, calculated. So as you can see, uh, we have some problem in the final excavation uh, phase. So uh, it uh, is not calculated. So we have a problem, a mistake or error in here. It says a uh, soil body seems to collapse. Uh, please inspect the output uh, result. So due to excessive uh, deformation in uh, somewhere in the model, uh, the calculation uh, didn't continue. So, so we have to check uh, what is uh, problem. I click on view calculation uh, results in uh, the final excavation phase so uh, we can uh, see it is obvious that the problem is uh, in here because uh, Plax's uh, software is a practical program actually so uh, we can see due to excessive uh, displacement in the sheet pile wall uh, it says the soil body seems uh, to collapse so if I uh, double click on the sheet pile and as you can see, if I select the lateral uh, displacement, displacement in, in in x direction, we can see it is about uh, 9.5 centimeters uh, as a maximum displacement in uh, the sheet pile wall. So we have to find a solution for uh, this. As you can see, uh, that's why it is important to do a deformation analysis for your project. 
Uh, so uh, 